Good morning and welcome back to part 11 of our VPC playlist. So in this video, we are going to learn what are VPC endpoints and why they are useful. So let's start. So till now, we have created the internet gateway. We have attached the NAT gateway. We have created the network ACS and we have also done the VPC peering. Now we have to see what is VPC endpoint and how it actually works. So let's say that we have a Amazon DynamoDB service, which is publicly accessible to the internet, right? We can easily access DynamoDB, but through public instance, if we want to access the AWS services like CloudWatch and S3 bucket through the private instance, then we have to create a VPC endpoint. And through the VPC endpoint, we can access the CloudWatch service and the S3 bucket service through the private instance. So if we want to access any cloud services through the private instance, then you have to compulsorily create a VPC endpoint and you can access any cloud service which you want. So now let's move on to see that what is actually a VPC endpoint. AWS private link, it is also called as a private link, of course. Every AWS service is publicly exposed. VPC endpoint allows you to connect instance to all private network instead of public network. It eliminates the use of internet gateway and net gateway. So whenever we create a VPC endpoint, we don't need any internet gateway or net gateway we just have to create a vpc endpoint and we are able to access all the services of our aws uh, like cloudwatch and s3 bucket whichever you want just we have to create the vpc endpoint and we, we can access the services through our private instance so now let's let's see that what is the scenario why actually the VPC endpoints are useful? We are going to see your two options. One, with using VPC endpoint and second, without using VPC endpoint. Let's see that which option is better for us. So first of all, here we have the region and in the region, we have the virtual private cloud. We have two subnets. One is the public subnet and one is the private subnet. We have instances in both the subnets. One is public instance and one is private instance. So public instance is already connected with the internet gateway, which is your. Now the private instance want to access the CloudWatch service, which is your. Right. So from the private instance, we will access the CloudWatch service. So let's go with the first option without using VPC endpoint. What we have to do so that the private instance can access the CloudWatch service. So first of all, we have to create a net gateway for it. So the private instance will go to the net gateway and net gateway will be connected to the internet gateway. And after connecting to the internet gateway, we will be able to access the CloudWatch service through internet. So the private instance will be able to access the CloudWatch service by using net gateway and internet gateway. This is the very first option. This is a very long option we can say. But if we create the VPC endpoint, then it will be a very short path. So let's say for the second option, we are going to create the VPC endpoint to access our CloudWatch service. So the private instance is going to use the VPC endpoint to connect to CloudWatch service. So it is a very easy way. And this is the second option. So we have seen the both option. One is with the net gateway and internet gateway. And second is the VPC endpoint. And we actually know by comparing both of them that VPC creating VPC endpoint and accessing the CloudWatch service through it is more better than using the net gateway and going in a very long queue. So let's go with the second option by using the VPC endpoint. So we have to create the VPC endpoint and then the private instance will be able to access the CloudWatch service very easily just by creating a VPC endpoint. Now let's see the types of the endpoints. So there are two types of the endpoint. First is the interface endpoint, which is powered by AWS. It provisions in private IP. So it gives a private IP as an entry point. The private IP needs to be attached to the security group. It is supported by many AWS services. So the interface, interface endpoint is supported by many different services which are provided by AWS. And you need to pay per hour and the data process charges are also being paid. You have to pay for the data which is processed and you have to pay hourly.
in the internet and endpoint does not free you have to pay when you ever whenever you create a internet interface endpoint so now let's see the working that how actually the interface endpoint works so here is the region we have a pri virtual private cloud created and we have a private subnet here and a private instance here so the private instance wants to access the cloud watch service so here we are going to create a vpc endpoint and we have are going to also create a private link so through the private link the private instance will be able to connect with the cloud watch service so this is how the interface endpoint works here the private link is there and we have a private ip here so the private instance will be able to access the cloud watch so this is how the interface endpoint works now let's move on to the second endpoint which is gateway endpoint it provisions a gateway and must be used as target in the root table the gateway endpoint is supported by only two services first is the s3 bucket and second is the dynamo db service only two services are supported by the gateway endpoint and it is a very free sort uh, of free endpoint it's not a service it's a endpoint so it is free endpoint right you can create a free gateway endpoint so now let's see how the gateway endpoint works so this is the same scenario of interface uh, endpoint just same like that only here is a private instance and as the gateway endpoint allows only two services to be connected which is dynamo db and amazon s3 so you can only connect a dynamo db or s3 bucket so let's say that we have a private instance here and we have to create a vpc endpoint through vpc gateway endpoint and through the vpc gateway endpoint the private instance will be able to access dynamo db service or the amazon s3 bucket service so these are the two endpoints and this is the way that how both the endpoints work one is free and one is paid so that's it for vpc endpoint now let's go and see how actually we can create a vpc gateway endpoint and how it actually works so let's go so now let's do the demo for our vpc endpoint so first of all let's stop this default vpc instance as we no longer need it so we are going to use the bastion host on which we have set up our http server right so let's first of all connect to our bastion host so let's click on connect here right let's connect to our instance and from the bastion host we are going to access the private instance right we are going to do the ssh and we are going to connect to our private instance using the bastion host so as we know that we will not provide the internet connection and by using the vpc endpoints we will give access to our private instance to other services so first of all we have connected it <clears throat> now let's clear the screen and let's ssh into our private instance so the command is ssh ec2 user at the rate the ip of our private instance which is 10.0.0.19.0.19 .0 .0 <clears throat> so let's connect to it let's paste it here and sorry let's paste it let's wait okay and now we will provide the key here which is slash demo key pair so let's do sss into a private instance okay so now we are in our private instance and at this point we will able to do ping and all the things as we the internet internet connection is there now we have to stop that internet connection so first of all for that we have to change the security of our bastion host so we have to add a iam role here so let's edit the iam role and let's add the iam role here so click on the bastion host and go to security part and click on modify iam role here so we have to create a new role right so click on create a new role and here we have to create a iam role for our bastion host so let's create a role click on create a role here 
and then first of all okay cl click on create a role here and let's create the role it is for aws service right it is for common uses like ec2 instance right we have to click on ec2 instance as we are cre creating a role for that only so click on next and here we have to provide the role for our s3 bucket and just we have to give the read only access of our s3 bucket so this is your right click on it and let's go to next so you have to provide your amazon s3 read only access and now click on next here and you have to name the role as demo i a m role for s3 read only right we can say read only okay now the role is perfect right we are going to add the amazon s3 read only access we are not going to add tags that's is it optional only so now let's create the role so click on create the role so the role is creating let's wait till the role is created okay so the role is created now let's go to the vpc console so no let's go to the ec2 console and refresh here and we will be able to see our role which we have created which is demo im role for s3 read only so click on it and let's update the im role here okay so the im role is attached to our instance let's check it let's click on the bastion host let's go to security and here we are able to see the iam role right first we were not previously we were not able to see now we are able to see as we have attached our role successfully so after adding the iam role to our bastion host let's go to the console of it and let's again do curl google.com so we are able to access the internet right now we are going to delete the net gateway which we have created as we don't want to provide the internet through the net gateway we want to do that through the vpc endpoint right we want to let our ec2 access other services through the vpc endpoint right we have seen the two different options in the further video that one option was using the internet gateway and the net gateway and the second option was to use the vpc endpoint so now we are going to remove the net gateway from here so let's go to the vpc console let's go to the root tables and in the private root table go to the roots and just delete the net gateway part right and remove this rule which we have added to provide the internet to our resources in our vpc so let's remove it and save the changes so now let's go to the bastion host and here we will not be able to access the internet right so here we are not getting any response and let's do ping also here let me show so we are not able to access the internet as we have removed the net gateway now we will provide access through the vpc endpoint so let's go to the vpc endpoint and create one endpoint for us so let's go to the vpc console and here we are able to see the endpoints so click on the endpoints and not on the endpoint services so here we are on the endpoint page now let's create one endpoint here there are two types of endpoint interface endpoint and gateway endpoint at this point we are going to create a gateway endpoint because it is for free and it allows two services it allows dynamo db and it also allows the s3 bucket so name the endpoint as demo endpoint right it is optional if you want to do that you can do that if you don't want to do that it's okay so service category is of course for our aws services and here we are able to see the endpoints so here the type of the endpoints are the interface one right all the okay, all the links are for interface if you want to use the gateway one then you can change your you can say s3 and here we are getting the s3 endpoint you can also write your dynamo db then we will get for dynamo db and yes this is the dynamo db right this is the gateway endpoint but if we want to choose let's say if we want to choose the interface endpoint then what all things we have to do we are not going to create it but 
let's let me show that if you want to use the inter interface gate endpoint then what you should do so first of all you have to select your vpc or which is demo vpc and down you have to select in what subnet the uh, endpoint should access so we can say in all the subnets and we can also provide the subnet which is you can say that private subnet a and private subnet b we can select that also and your this type of, is of course ipv4 right and you have to cl click there and you can also select the security groups here whatever security groups you want to attach you can do that but at this point we are not going to choose the interface endpoint we are going to create a gateway endpoint so let's uh, search here for s3 and here we are going to choose the gateway endpoint here right so the vpc will be of course the demo vpc which we have created and then we have to tell that which root table should be edited for our gateway endpoint so we we'll, as our instance and in, as our instance is a private instance so we are going to of course edit the private root table here we are going to choose the private root table and the roots of the private root table will be edited so now let's click on the private root table and here the policy will give full access here all the things will remain the same only tags are optional and let's check once again we have named our endpoint for aws services and the services s3 bucket and it is a gateway endpoint which is very free the vpc is demo vpc and the root tables are private root table is going to be edited for our gateway endpoint for s3 now let's create the endpoint click on create endpoint and let's wait till the endpoint is created okay so the endpoint is created now let's check our root table as i told that the private root table will be edited whenever the endpoint is created we have chosen the private root table in the endpoint root table part so let's go to the root table and click on the private root table and go to the roots and let's see yes we are able to see the root which is added here whatever request comes from here is going to go to the endpoint which we have created right so now let's change save the changes or let's cancel it as we have not changed anything now, now let's go to our bastion host and check that we are able to access the services without internet using the vpc endpoint or not so let's click on it and let's say aws s3 we are going to list all the S3 buckets in our S3 service as we have created the endpoint for that, right? So yes, we are able to access the buckets which are created in our S3 bucket. So this is how you can access the AWS services without the internet using the VPC endpoint. You just have to create a VPC endpoint and you can access the services from the private instances. So that's it for the video. Meeting you in the next video.